from Japan, from Japan. Tatsumi, Tatsumi Fujinami. Known as the Dragon, Tatsumi Fujinami debuted in 1971. He quickly rose to prominence, capturing the WWE Junior Heavyweight Championship in 1978. Fujinami's influence on the sports entertainment industry is undeniable. I watched his wrestling uh, when I was a kid. He opened the door to get this opportunity. Fujinami's reign in Japanese pro wrestling spanned three decades. The legendary Lou Thez called Fujinami one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. In 2015, Fujinami was paid the highest honor when he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. I have the honor and the privilege of inducting a Japanese wrestling legend. This man is a household word when you speak of wrestling. He's the greatest wrestler in the history of Japan. It is my honor, ladies and gentlemen, to induct Tatsumi Fujinami into the WWE 2015 Hall of Fame. In 1991, all eyes focused on Tokyo as WCW presented a dream card of epic proportions. Battle lines were drawn. Fujinami would face fellow WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair in front of nearly 65,000 fans. Fujinami, to be the man! You gotta beat the man! In the main event, two men would walk in champions, but only one would be victorious. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 243 pounds, the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. There he is, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, one of the most decorated competitors of all time as well as perhaps the dirtiest player in the game. <laughs> he certainly is accomplished, JR, but you have to wonder what's going through his mind as he enters potentially hostile territory here in Japan. Getting a hero's welcome as he prepares to battle Ric Flair for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. And like Flair, Fujinami is an incredibly decorated competitor, JR, as well as a highly dangerous man who has innovated many of his own signature maneuvers. Fujinami Ric Flair, here we go. One on one on one. Damage Ric Flair, let's do this. I don't know anything about Fujinami. I don't remember him. I know that he was at the Hall of Fame, obviously. Uh, but we'll relive this in the Tokyo Dome. I believe we're in the Tokyo Dome. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I believe Tokyo Dome, pretty cool. I always wanted a Tokyo Dome in a WWE game. We're finally getting it here and now. Ric Flair, whoa, there it is. Performer finisher on Ric Flair. And then win by pinfall or submission or something is what they're going to tell us. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Ric Flair. Get up. 
Get up, Blair, get up. Let me know. Let's find special moves real quick. Dragon suplex from behind. Uh, and a dragon sleeper grounded. And then the gut red suplex. Okay, that's all we need, though. If I doubt I'll do anything else. I like the hair on Ric Flair. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. Oh, there it is. I might have to go back and watch this match just to watch it. Uh, it's probably on the network. I believe it is. Why wouldn't it be on the network? If it's not on the network, we're missing out. Yeah. Clap it up. Yeah. All right. Let's take Ric Flair out. Clothesline. Let's just Irish whip and then do a move off the Irish whip. Or not. Got him in the corner. Why not? Ric Flair's chest is getting all red just from the punches. And Snake Eyes. Kevin Ash's old finisher, Snake Eyes. Boom, suplex. Uh-oh, Flair, back body drop. No! I don't think I would wrestle without knee pads just for the fact of taking bumps. Hitting your knees and stuff. I don't know how wrestlers even wrestle without shoe. Smacking their ankles on the ground the entire time. Gut wrench. Gut wrench suplex. There it is. Old school effective maneuver. Charge finish. Oh, let's just get him with the sleeper. Oh, there it is. Pin him. Oh, we got to pin him. We have to pin him for the for the objective. Here we go. Oh, oh Flair's got his foot on the rope. Title on the line. Tatsumi Fujinami thinks he's got the win. No, Flair's foot was definitely on the rope. It absolutely was. And now the Nature Boy, the dirtiest player in the game, trying to get a little hard oh. to catch him. What a chop. Another shot from Fujinami. Fujinami and Flair are in danger of being counted out. The referee's reluctant to count him out. No one wants to see a count out here. And I hate those chops, but Flair is the master of delivering them. Look at this. Oh, oh. The referee inadvertently just got ran over. And look at this, the roll up. Fujinami's got the roll up, but nobody there to count. Flair and Fujinami, title on the line. Oh, a backside, JR, backside. He's down. Look at that one, two. Well, Flair's up. There's no referee. Get some help out here. Inside cradle. Again, no one there to count. <laughs> These guys are pulling out all the stops, but we need an official out here. Turns it around on him, and what a move. Man, what a match here. Flair, Fujinami, the World Heavyweight title. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, the elevation referee is down. Fujinami elevated Flair over the top rope. That would be a disqualification. Yeah, this thing should be over right now. If the referee saw it, King. And now, oh, man. And Flair suplex back into the ring. From the outside back in, Nature Boy Ric Flair being taken to school here. And pinning combination out of the abdominal stretch. And what? Tatsumi Fujinami has won. has won the match. The original referee is still down. This replacement ref has made the count. And look at this. There's that trophy. There's the world championship. 